Oh boy, let's see, where am I? Okay, so welcome back, one and all. Navigator EX here, and Resident Evil Director's Cut. With a little bit more shotgun ammo, and a little change in wardrobe. And there's a reason for that, is because this game beat me. <laughs> I am I'm ready to admit, I took the time after the last stream to roll back to original difficulty and regain my progress. Seeing four hunters in a room and knowing that that's going to be my fate for a few weeks, I was like, nah. <laughs> you did it, Capcom. You did it. Oh, I hate to admit when a game has worn me down. I still like this game, though. I like this game, and I made my mistakes. Now it's time to get on to the next game and the next mistakes. But whatever, because 33 shotgun shells. Buffering, what? Huh? Weird. <coughs> Maybe refresh the page. It's looking all green on my end. Both the OBS display and the uh i replayed the game from the start to this point yes i replayed everything just so i could get back to the point where i left off but without four hunters in a room just literal pain oh boy like one hunter is rough i mean you can you can shotgun them you can keep them kind of stun locked for a moment and be good two hunters is you know just stay back take your shotgun out and and breathe three hunters is like no 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 four hunters is just death so <laughs> i'm not that good ah uh, a nearly full hard drive hmm Oh boy, there was a some remedy in Windows 7 that I've been meaning to check going forward in Windows 10. Uh can't remember the name of it. It's a that's more a RAM thing that I'm thinking of. Uh never mind. Damn it. Ugh. <coughs> oh man. It's reminding me of back when I thought that 80 gigs would be enough to hold all the stuff that I would ever want. Filling up a hard drive is rough. Especially in an economy where Chia is a thing. It's like we're gonna wind up with... oh, this is back the way it was going. Chia being a thing and hopefully... hopefully that, that peters out and dies with the rest of crypto. Situation with healing items? Yeah, here's the difference between original and and uh, advanced mode. Um, whereas before, I was, uh, oh, let's check this map real quick. Uh, whereas before, I was just getting curb stomped and having to heal way more often than I'd like. Now I have, I think, five full mixed herbs. A crap ton of green herbs. It's like dying every couple of seconds on advanced, and now I have... A surplus of green herbs, and I think I died twice getting back Enrico. up to here. Uh, the Epic Games account. Mm. Don't come any I hope I'm right, but Wait. the information I'm looking at, Double different process. benchmarks on different system configurations of, of comparable games, I think it'll run on your machine. Umbrella. At least as well as it would on Switch. Who is it? Is someone there? Oh man, his neck kind of down in his torso. I'm looking at this guy like a G.I. Joe action figure now. Double crosser. But what yeah. What do you mean by that? Long story short though, advanced mode. That's like if I was really good at Resident Evil, I would consider revisiting it. Like if I'd just beaten this game for all it was worth, just pummeled it to death and wrung every drop of um, playtime out of original or or even beginner. Um, oh, he's only got a magazine here. I got himself a clip. Oh, hello. Any others? 
Ah, uh, nope. You sit down. Ah, uh, nope. None of that. Okay. Whoop. Cut that out. Okay. Okay, that's not great. Oh, and I'm already down in danger. Great. Okay. Okay. But yeah, advanced mode, I have nothing against it as as existing, but it is Oh, there's the that thing. Okay. Different item locations. <coughs> uh it's just not for me. I mean, I don't I don't make it a habit to start on the higher difficulties normally, and I'm I am willing to admit that mistake. Oh, hello. That's another benefit of this difficulty. I think they take fewer hits. Okay. It's one less hunter deal to deal with. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. And quick reload. No. Is that everyone here? That sounds like everyone. Okay, that's cool. Any fees associated with an Epic Store account? There are not. Um, the Here's the thing, and why I'm not typically one to endorse the Epic uh, Store account. There is a whole kerfuffle around its launch involving some spyware allegations that they say were like telemetry things there was, they um they've gone to great lengths to try and clarify that they didn't have spyware in their store thing but uh yeah it still put people off there's that and there's a the whole buying of exclusives thing like you know console manufacturers <laughs> so typically i don't like super endorse epic store cuz it's kind of a touchy subject for the real hardcore PC crowd. Some people got a thing against it. But other than that, only thing about the Epic Store are signing up for an account, buying games, and thank god they actually have a cart now. And their Thursday weekly freebies. So no, there's no fees for them, Steam, or GOG. Oh. But I had to take a look at Damon X Machina on their store, because, I mean... I already have it on Steam and Switch, why not? But, um, had to take a look at it on their store because of the fact that once you fire that game up, when you own it, uh, okay, you, you can actually just uh, uninstall the Epic Games launcher and run the game DRM free. So it's like, there are a handful of games on there, and to be fair, also on Steam, that you can download and install and you don't even really need those services launchers for okay oh this 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 guy are you gonna be like that huh uh, no I didn't mean to get that close uh, no what's my health like uh, it's fine it's fine Ah, come on, move. Uh, pause, danger. Ah, boy. Sit down. Ah. Play a bit of Dead Space 1 on your modded 360. Nice. How did that go? I'm quite curious. Okay. Cuz what I've seen of that game, it has it has great atmosphere to it. It looks it looks really fun. Oh man. I like the the health being on the guy's spine. I like the, the back showing his health. That that was a really cool touch. Uh 
having that's something as a matter of fact to think about there aren't enough games i think that have ui elements on the in-game models there are a handful of examples i i can't think of many right off hand but halo comes to mind there are a number of first person shooters especially in the in the sci-fi futuristic space where they have the whole <coughs> um ammo counter on your gun things like that oh in Dead Space, doing that with a health was actually, I thought it was like the coolest thing. Combine. Oh, I'm going to run out of shotgun shells, aren't I? Oh, goodness. One moment. Hmm. Oh, no. There's two of them in this room. Okay. Grab that flamer. See if I can, see if I even can grab that flamer. I can't remember if it's a two-slot thing. One button to consume a heal. Oh, that's that's a recipe for disaster. Will I take the flamethrower? Okay. It might have been just me looking too much at that Biohazard 1.5 um, beta that was over on Gimme an Egg's channel last night. Last night. Where I'm thinking about... Uh, Two slot weapons. Nope. Oh, this ain't great. This ain't great. This ain't great. That was not great. Oh, no. Hmm. One button healing items. I had a bit of difficulty with that, as I recall, in Dirge of Cerberus. Um, I mean... I... I actually didn't really remember that too well until earlier today. I was re-watching one of my old streams to, you know, see if I could drum up a synopsis for it on YouTube. Because I actually do want to clean up those YouTube videos a bit. One touch to use a healing item. That is... That's kind of rough. Oh, uh, boy, there's... What would the solution to that be in a in a fast paced game? Why would it be like um like hold it for a half second? I mean that that seems like um that seems like a tough one to work around. Oh shoot, I need to get one of the Ah hell with it, I'll just get the health the health spray in the in the in the murder caves. Oh man, in a game like Dead Space, Dirge of Cerberus, holding that button for more than a second would probably lead to some unnecessary deaths. Um, that'd be interesting to see a solution on that one. <coughs> oh. Yeah, specifically a solution that doesn't, like, take you into a menu or something. Uh. Nothing wrong with menus, but the fewer menus, the better. They are, they are necessary. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is the way around to, I think, the typewriter, and yeah, okay. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta watch that guy get dead again, and grab the thing, and just, I think, just run by the uh, hunters this time, because... Reasons. Okay, no, not here. Or is it here? Oh, no. Zero sense of direction. Mm, this room? Gotcha. Get my extra shotgun shells. Hopefully don't get mowed down by hunters this time. All right, what's that? Oh boy, I have yet to check out the uh, PSN store on uh, my PS3 and 4 to see that thing. There was an article I saw last week talking about uh, PS3 games showing up on the PSN store. I'm like, yes please. Not because I have anything that I want to buy anytime sooner that I'm looking to buy anything, but just having them there and available as the... 
after all the the murk about them potentially closing stores and everything um ps3 games specifically do raise an eyebrow especially if it's like on the ps4 store because apparently there's 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 people who are oh man i'm missing a door somewhere okay there are people who are of the opinion that this is um alluding to that whole spartacus business psn's answer to um game pass and kind of hope so um backward compatibility uh there are rumors there um it would be nice to see that um the whole spartacus thing being what it is can't wait to see more info on that and uh on the off chance that they offer backwards compatibility on discs you actually already possess that would be even better. I'm not holding my breath on them. This is this is still Sony, but they lost uh, a chunk of uh, they lost a chunk of face with the whole Activision bit. So um, this, would, this would certainly be a way to keep people Don't come any closer, coming Chris. to their their their, hey, their things. What happened? Double crosser. I mean, I would be I would be super jazzed Don't. to be able to play all my old games on one console. Plus, rumors leading into the PS5's release, the whole thing about, oh, they'll totally have backward compatibility it? that is, didn't pan is out. Someone there? No. Them doing it after the fact would still be nice. Double crosser. Oh what boy. Mean by that? Yeah, the Spartacus thing. It's like, I mean. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, no, not this shit again. Okay, no, no, no. Uh. Uh. Should dodge to his right. Uh, no. Pause. Okay, caution. Uh, combine. I could have sworn this was the room where the, the crank was. Okay. Uh, we'll see how they handle that whole Spartacus business. Oh, it's over here. Okay. <clears throat> like balls in your court, Sony. Uh remote control dandy SF on a PS5. Oh man, if Sony doesn't give it, uh, doesn't do it, give the jailbreakers and homebrewers time. Hmm. <laughs> ah boy. Let's see. So that crank, I go back to the typewriter. Uh, move a boulder, dodge more of the hunters, and stop. Oh no, that's not great. That's two. That's not great. Uh, whoa, hello, sir. Hmm. Uh. Oh, hello. I know that's technically a wasted shotgun shell, but hey. Oh, wait, no. Well, it's not a wasted shotgun shell if I finish killing the guy, so whatever. Uh, I don't know. I'm just a fan of the uh, the retro multi-game consoles, like the Retron stuff, where you can play like multiple systems on one console. I mean, <coughs> I would like to see more official efforts to play more than one system's games on a console. Okay. We'll be able to play Damon X Machina on Linux. Oh, boy. Yeah, device wouldn't be supported. Ah, that best case scenario, like Proton support, but even then, I don't know. Eh! Boo! It's like sometimes you can get a game that that doesn't work to work using uh, that that proton thing, but or or wine. But I haven't looked into those personally and have zero tips to offer. Damn. Ugh. Like, come on, game stores. Linux is a thing. 
course, to be fair, Mac is a thing, and I mean, how many games work on Mac? I don't know. Uh. <coughs> uh. My throat today. Eh. One moment. Uh. Always staying hydrated. Alrighty. Let's see. You know what? I'm gonna run across hunters in here. Let's let's see if I can barbecue barbecue a few of them before I leave. Okay. Whoop. And dislodge. Okay. Also, good on the hunters to be able to operate doors, because, I don't know, I guess, why not? What's in the hole again? Uh, magnum rounds, right. For that magnum that I, for whatever reason, chose not to carry on me. Okay, switch weapons real quick. Oh, you try that shit. Roast at Frogman, sucker! Uh, boy, one down. What, like seven or eight to go? Uh. Okay, until I get back to the next room with those. Okay, where's the next boulder? I know there's at least one more. <laughs> Magnum Dong. Uh. Let's see. Where am I going? Is that the northeast or southeast? Oh boy, monster condom. Well, if 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 Archer is any indication, you know you can get by with a candy wrapper <laughs> because you know that's how that works, right? Just you know Snickers bar and uh, oh boy. Boss fight just past the boulder. <coughs> See, that's the thing is, I mean, I know there's some stuff about a, a boulder moving, but I didn't see any other exits to the room, so I'm like, okay, we'll see. Let's see that. Ah. Uh. Okay. You know what? This just... I did not try this once last week, and now I feel like an idiot. Uh You know what? I got like two thirds of this flamethrower left. It's it's time to put this flamethrower to good use. There's hoping Whatever is past here, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a spider? Uh, can take enough hit stun where this is, this is viable. Oh, that's not great. Roast in hell! Okay, that's not working. Um, also I'm poisoned. Also, oh noes! There's another thing in that one corner. Let's see. What are you? All right, please, please be something that has to do with poison. Combat knife. No, no, I won't take the combat knife game. Oh shit! I am not making it back to a. Box. I'm done. Uh, explosions! Oh, this is gonna suck if I die to that. I mean... Uh... Uh... 
Okay. Okay. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go. 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 Oh. Is the knife to cut the web? Cause I got this this flamethrower, and I'm like, hey, this seems like a party. Uh, locked cause flamethrower. Uh. Watch the. I'm gonna try and backtrack and get some blue herbs, but this is. I'm gonna feel even worse. If I do this spider fight again, and there's like some blue herbs right after the door. Ah, uh, boy. Because I'm in danger status. I don't know if you can actually die from poisoning or if it just takes you down to danger and lets you linger there. But I'm assuming you just die. Uh. It. Get in the door. I don't know. Uh. Thankfully, I'm close to the guardhouse, so, you know, there's that. Uh, get in the door. So, apparently, Ed Boon is getting into the Gaming Hall of Fame soon, because, you know, Mortal Kombat. Uh, influence on the industry and everything. It was his group's fault that we have game ratings, so I guess that works. Ah, uh, God. Let's see, I'm gonna keep the crank for a minute. I don't know if it's useful. Uh, I mean, I got my own combat knife. Why not? Um, uh, let's see, where are we at? Mixed herbs. Let's see. Yeah, you can say, because I'm... I think I've already... I think I've already, uh... Committed to the bit. I mean, game design, I would expect there to be something anti-poison after, but I, I don't know. Uh, let's see, Beretta. Uh, Magnum Rounds. Oh, uh, boy. The combine. There we go. Hmm? War Gods. Oh, man. I never remember that game. <coughs> it's like, am I going to have to scare up a copy of that so that I can remember it? Because, oh, there are blue herbs after the fight. Of course! Thanks, Capcom. <laughs> For knowing how to make a game better than I do. Ah. Uh, okay. I can live with that. Ah. Uh, War Gods. Yeah, so anyway, apparently, though, he's getting his uh, his award on the... Oh, shit, I used one of my mixed herbs. Oh, well, it's fine. I wanted to use a blue herb. I just kind of tuned out. He's getting his award on the 24th of February at the 25th Dice Awards or some such. Yeah, I mean, I get the tiger stripes thing, but yeah, to look at a, look at the thing, I I don't know that I would have guessed that. In fact, I do know that I would have guessed that because I would not have guessed that at all. That's the last thing I think of when I think of spiders. The first being fire. Um, and I guess Capcom knows people are going to go that route. What with the flamethrower being, like, right there. But, you know. Mmm. Let's see, where was... The tiger zone? Okay. Ah! Right, around the... Found its name out from an FAQ. Yeah! That tracks. I mean, I don't think they really tell almost any of these things' names in-game. I mean, Plant 42 being a notable exception. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, I've got my combat knife. I mean, I could pick up a spare, but... Meh. So... I mean, I suppose better than the Tiger Calzone. 
Oh, God. The Tiger Electronic Wristwatch. Oh, my God. I, I forgot that was a thing that existed. Um, let's see. Let's, let's check this real quick. I just want to see. Holy crap. I think it does work. Hey, what do you know? It does. Wait, I have one ammo for this now, so... Eh. Well, that worked. Oh, Tyrant. Oh! Uh, I don't even know if I'll be going back to the mansion at this point, but whatever, I'll just... Soldier on. Okay, equip. Mm, piano music. I'm going to take a peek at the map. What's this room look like? Okay, so there's exits to the east and west. I am turn left to go to the east. Okay. Beating the... Oh, yeah, I beat that. I beat it, got to the end, and uh, took a brief moment to see how Chris's graphics looked on there. Chris's scenario, how see how it started. So that one was completed. It's, that's why I'm playing Chris on this stream, because I played through Jill on that one. Okay. Yeah, beat it without having to change the difficulty to normal and go back and replay the whole thing, so... Yay? Okay. Well, I got this, uh... Oh, where are my ink ribbons? Uh, this... I'll go ahead and put the crank away here. And the knife, because nothing should ever require it again. <coughs> I did like the... the remake... It was it was good gameplay. It was it was a fun time, and uh, wouldn't mind giving it another crack at some point. Not necessarily on stream because you know this. I'm going through the whole series here, but you know just in general. Uh, yeah, it's like I knew I wanted to play Resident Evil, and I had the remake there, but. I didn't know when I was going to get to playing through the whole series, so I figured, hey, when I play the whole series, I'll play the old versions of them. And I uh, decided then that I wanted to zip through that remake just to just to get a taste of the... Oh, whoops, right into the mic. Just to get a taste of how, how the series went. Where's my, is that my only first aid? That can't be my only first aid spray. What? Eh. Oh. Oh, I see. But yeah, it's like I knew I was eventually going to play the Resident Evil series, but figured, hey, the one odd one out. Uh, let's see. Oh, not this shit. Ah, uh, snags. It's like I, I want to nail him with the shotgun, but it almost feels like a waste. Oh, boy, I don't want to do this. Uh, where are we at? Uh, this seems like a terrible idea, but hey, whatever. I don't want to waste a shotgun shell on a snake unless it's real life. Then, yeah, I'll... Uh, seriously? Okay, I should have, I, I, admittedly, I should have expected that, but I did not. So, oh, it looks like a hook. The flamethrower, oh, joy. Let's see, GameCube version of RE2. For some reason, they added a line of Leon excitedly saying, oh, boy. Uh. <coughs> oh, boy. Because that's what I think of when I see liquors. Oh, boy. I was hoping it was just 
I was hoping it was just two liquors, and I could just stab them and be done with it. But yeah, no, when they start raining from the sky, it's like, nope, done. I'm done. Uh, Leon. It's like, oh boy, another victim pulls out Magnum. Uh. Let's see, will I put down the flamethrower? Yes. Up. Uh. Man. Looking at Biohazard 1.5, it's just so weird to see his RE2 character model with a totally different name attached to it. Oh, actually, equipment shotgun. Like Roy in there or some such. I really need to go back and look up uh, RE1.5 again. Oh, do I need to... Hmm. Okay, let's take a quick look at the map here. What am I doing? Okay. Hmm. Do I need to drop that down this hole? Do I need to... Ah, I knew putting that thing away was a bad idea earlier. Okay. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out how this goes. If it's supposed to roll past me or if I'm supposed to drop it down that pit. I'm not expecting to drop it down a pit, though, really. Ah! Uh. But yeah, that was that raid yesterday. Uh, give me an eggs channel, and uh... Oh, man. Biohazard 1.5. I liked the character design of Elza Walker. I've seen... Um... Where's the other crank? I've seen... Uh, concept art from that that was used. I like that character design and I always thought it was a shame that they didn't put that character in the canon somewhere else. Not necessarily as a playable character. That would be cool, but, you know, not necessary. Okay. Leon was always Leon and Claire. Yeah. Um, I don't know about the Leon thing. I mean, this is, this is basically a fan group that's, that's rebuilding this thing from what they had. I'd, I'd need to read the details. Oh, was it the MZD version was, I think, the what I saw attached to it? And, I don't know. But, um, yeah. They seem to have done a pretty functionally good job for what they had. A few little tweaks and it's it's pretty good. Okay, what we got here? What are you Okay, that's an elevator. Do I need to go down there? Or do, you, do I need to... Risking life and limb for a boulder. You know what? And turn right. Okay, just making sure I remember my turn point. So I don't turn the wrong way. Ah, oh boy. Is it going to go ahead and start turning now, or... Because I think I saw it shake. Okay. Nah, it's not going anywhere. Ah! You use it again. <coughs> I don't know, I guess I should have just gone on over to it. Except that, eight. What does this allow for now? Okay. Map. Okay, got a little side room off here. Gotcha. Oh, the turn away point is the same. Okay. And, is it going to start rolling? Yep, it starts rolling. Arrgh, no, get in there! Okay. That was on me. I did not turn early enough. Ugh. <sighs> ah, no! Oh. You can go back somehow. Okay. 
I always thought you couldn't go back once you accidentally selected a new game option. Okay, that changes things. Ah, oh, that boulder. Okay, save after spider. Got it. I have no shortage of ink ribbons. I don't know why I didn't do it before. Ah, that was dumb. Oh, man. There's some good character um, concept art, though, for Biohazard 1.5. I saw a bunch of um, Sherry artwork. I can't remember if that was for that or the RE2 remake. I need to go back and look that up. Eh. Let's see. This might not be smart, but I'm going to try something a little different this run. Let's see, Magnum. Because I'm going to get six more Magnum rounds. Uh, anything else? I'm going to save those last six, I think, for... Wait, no, I don't have as many Magnum rounds this time, so... Mm, save those for, I guess, Tyrant. And he comes up. Ugh. Ah, decisions. See, that's the thing, is I wasn't sure about that running back to start, but with that, that little pass, passageway right there... Oh, why am I going away from the door? I go... I have the path literally right in front of me, and I go the exact opposite direction. Wow. Oh. Coffee's got to start kicking in sometime. Yeah, I, I might need to go back all the way to that run, but I don't know if... Because that boulder, it's got some acceleration on it. I don't know that I would outrun it. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Trying to think. Oh, man. Sega with their whole arcade business. Their... Sega is finally quitting arcade ownership after it. They've apparently been doing that for like 50 years. So that'd be like, what, 1982? 72? 72? Ugh, man. I guess I didn't think about games being around that long. Wow. <laughs> it's 50 years of the arcade business and Sega is finally checking out Long-form RPG I might like to play next on stream. I mean, I'm kind of leaning on Final Fantasy VIII. I'm not really sure, though, because sooner or later, FF9. I'm just not sure uh, what. Now, to be clear, Sega is still looking to produce arcade games. They are still looking to make the games that are playable in the buildings. They're just not looking to manage buildings anymore. Um... They're selling to a company called Genda. They apparently sold 85% of their uh, holdings in uh, 2020. But, uh, yeah, so they're they're getting out of the ownership. It's like, man, what the hell's happening over there? Uh, of course, to be fair, some of it's probably COVID-related. You, know, you know, just the console industry as a whole. But, um, uh, let's see, what do you, uh, there we go. It's always a shame, though, to see arcades closing up. I do wish we had more stuff like that here. Uh, I think if I owned my own business, I would have to have at least one arcade machine in a corner or something. Uh, let's see. Oh, my brain is not working. Very not working. Uh, yeah, I saw the uh, article at first, and I thought they were giving up on making arcade machines soon. I'm like, oh. Mm. Haven't heard anything really specific, though, about their, their fortunes of late. So I don't know if they're just, no, nah, we're done with this business. We're going to focus just on the games, or if they're actually struggling. And I could really believe either even though you know anniversary wait no this is the wrong way again i don't have the hex crank yet oh what am i doing which way am i going 
Uh, Steel Battalion arcade setups. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think. How many of their arcades have I played? Uh, I know I got to try Virtua Racing, like, one time. And, uh... That was, that was it. What else? Have I played any of their other games in arcades? I don't think I have. And it was, like, full sitting down, steering wheel, big-ass chair. Uh... It was great. I never got to see their Daytona USA machines either. They're apparently like air airplane like simulator quality technology back in the day because they wanted to absolutely have 60 frames per second. Don't come any closer, Chris. I was I would have loved hey, to play that. Steel Battalion though. That just sounds like a hell of a romp. Uh I mean, that controller's a desk. Um, uh, Who is it? I is someone there? Let's see. Let's see how many of these hunters Double I can just crosser. breeze by. What did he mean by that? Well, Chris, typically when someone is called a double crosser, it means they betrayed someone or something for reasons. Uh, get the get the crank! Get the crank! Take a hit just because dude won't look down. Come on. Uh, virtual on would have been fun as well. Okay. Uh? Hmm. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I'm taking a few more hits than I'd like. Uh, do I have the healing? I have the spray. I have the spray. Oh. Uh? Oh, hello. Caution status, and we go. Ah, Time Crisis. Oh, that's one that I had a bit of nostalgia for, though. I'd never gotten the chance to try arcades. Time Crisis 2, I believe, on uh, PS2. Playing that with a controller was rough. Mm -hmm. Let's see, 1 through 5 would be just... just fun. House of the Dead. Virtual on and Oratorio Tangram. Ah, Sega's fighting games. I mean, I would love to try some of the other Virtua Fighter games aside from 1, 2, and 4. Well, really, shit, I guess I played like half that, more than half that series now. Um, <coughs> but fighting Vipers would have been fun in the arcades. Like I had that on Saturn. Uh, have I ever tried a MechWarrior arcade game? I can, I can say I have not. Um, hmm, like, pretty much the entirety of my MechWarrior ex experience is on MechWarrior 5, and I'm led to understand that 4 is just, like, it, bleh, I'm stammering for words. I'm led to understand that... Of the uh, games in the series, like the main entries, that 4 and its expansion mercenaries are like the best in the series. I, I wouldn't really know. But 5 pre felt pretty solid. Okay. Dur, 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 dur. Don't get squished. The idea of a Mech Warrior arcade game kind of. That's, it's baffling to me a bit, too, because they. Five feels like it's trying to be like Sammy, and uh, oh, I should not have gone this way. Wait, well, yeah, I should have gone this way because Magnum rounds. I would love to try a Mech Warrior arcade, though. I really would. Okay, got the flamethrower. Might as well burn it on these guys. Oh, you're gonna try that jumping nonsense. Stand up to your flaming death, you, you prick. Eat fire. A little preview of what hell is like. Ah, uh, boy. Okay, here we go. Chuck E. Cheese. Big circular enclosed cockpit. Oh my god. 
That sounds like the best. Okay. Uh, tiger! Uh. Ah, crap. Uh. Oh, it's gonna be like that, is it, Tiger? Eat shotgun, you prick. Uh. Brutally difficult. Yeah, that sounds about like... <laughs> that sounds about like Mech Warrior. They, they want you to... Be all strategic and try and dodge every shot that you can for for fear of spending extra money on repairs in those games. But I don't know how the arcade thing would be. But yeah, it, it's okay. Let's exit this room and double back in so all those spiders will go away. Oh man! But yeah, it mech warrior. It's like I would love to try that in like a simulator kind of setting like that, but. There, there's five can be rough. I can, I'll say that for uh, for certain. I, I still every now and then just dabble, pop in, and uh, play like a quick instant action round. I really need to finish that campaign. It's like I don't know that I would want to stream that one though because it's it's kind of bland. It's kind of a bland game. Okay, you know what? I didn't save last time, and that was nearly my downfall. So let's go ahead and pick up things. I can't pick up things because, oh boy. Alright, let's drop this extra combat knife. A little further down there. Okay, combine the magnum rounds. Inventory management! Oh! Oh, man. It's like, I don't know how there was a Mech Warrior game on Super Nintendo. There apparently were like two of them. I'm... I mean... <coughs> I mean, I'm game, but... How did that work? Ah. Uh. It's like, it seems like far too long ago that game developers were just pushing consoles for the absolute most they could get out of them. I mean, it's like, nowadays, it's like, oh, well, the next console's around the corner. We'll just use our new shader tech on there and, you know, call it a day. It's like Super Nintendo, they were trying to get Doom running on there. And then they, they succeeded because it's Doom. Why not? Okay. Beretta and mixed herbs. And... Last but not least, swap you with that blue herb. Uh, Mech Warrior for Arena Mode. Yeah, I seem to remember that Duncan Fisher thing coming up. Uh, I can't remember what had me looking that up. I think it was the voice actor. Hmm. So, George, okay. Sadly, I don't know enough about the whole Duncan Fisher thing. Ah, man. Those games are apparently abandonware. I don't know if anyone owns the rights to those. I mean, even with Piranha Games having put out MechWarrior 5, I don't know that they they own the rights to MechWarrior as a whole, or if they just got the whole 5 thing. Oh. I wouldn't mind finding a copy on Amazon. Okay. Bleh. Ink ribbons. Okay, back to... Back to progress. Let's see. Back warrior 4. Oh, man. The idea, though, that it's one of those... Franchises that extends all the way back to DOS. 
Like I have, z I have virtually no experience with DOS, so yeah. My gaming experience peters out there. Oh. Ah. So one day, of course, I have to get some of my spare parts together. <laughs> Just build a retro machine that can run XP and DOS stuff. What, what even? Nothing in there. Nothing in the crevice. Just rotate this door real quick. Now, the thing is about Mech Warrior, I have had so little experience with VR. I would love to see Mech Warrior in VR. I may have already mentioned playing around with um, an app called Trinus on my phone that you can hook in one of those little. Google Cardboard or plastic cell phone holders, and you can have, like, budget VR with this thing. And I played a little bit with No Man's Sky on there. It was actually kind of cool. Uh, too much latency for space combat, but for just the walking around and exploring part, it was fun. Could not get it to work for Mech Warrior. I mean, I would absolutely love to see the inside of a mech cockpit in first person like that. It'd be kind of crazy. Plus, I didn't buy... Trinus because 15 bucks. Uh. Uh, move! Get him up! Oh, that's not great. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to go to that first door. Ah! I'm gonna give it one more shot. Then I might have to call it off for the day. Ah! I'm gonna get a little bit more progress. It's like, damn it, VR, why you gotta have such a high buy-in? Oh, uh, man. Yeah, those great leaps and bounds in, techno in uh, gaming technology just... Mm. It's like... Because there's still some excitement there here, um, here and there for me, but I'm, I'm not really sure where to to point my gaze, as it were. The effects are nice and everything, but I don't know. I guess seeing new ways uh, to tell stories and new ways to play specific uh, game types and stuff that that helps. It's like. <coughs> I would not have thought of a battle royale existing until like the last generation or two of consoles and such as that. I mean, I'm sure PC could handle it. Like, whatever. We're talking about consoles here, but <laughs> uh, but yeah, there there are different things. I mean, platformers having like massive amounts of 3D elements. I mean, you had 3D platformers back in the day, but it's nice to see more stuff getting used for them. It's nice to see those those experimental titles like Fez. Uh, seeing, seeing them doing crazy stuff like there. Or seeing new platformers do stuff more like the older games, but just like refining it. Like, I don't know, Strider's an example that comes to mind. Because it was fun. Strider was really fun. Hmm. Okay. Now let's try this without the agonizing death. Okay. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah, yeah, in there. Okay. I could get the thing on the wall. Let's do that. What is that? the underground map. It is kind of cool to see some of the more realistic games get closer and closer to photorealistic because it's it's legit hard in some instances to tell some game screenshots from from photos now. I would not have called that any less than 10 years ago. I would not have even had a guess of that happening. Uh, let's see, combine real quick. 
Yay, ammo disc. What we got here? Hmm. Got a hex shaped hole. Hexagonal hole. We have panel on the wall, a little slot in the floor. <coughs> okay. Hmm. I'm gonna have to like rotate this room. Is that what I'm getting out of this? Oh, I see. Got a little pusher there. Let's see. The we yeah, innovations like like m jumping in on motion controls, that that was absolutely a a surprise. The IR. Oh, I think I pushed that too far. Damn it. Reset. Oh, man. It's like I talk smack about the move controllers, but it's it's like, hey, Nintendo got someone to jump when when they saw Wii motion controls. I always wanted to try the Wii motion controls because they, they looked fun. And it's like... If it weren't for Wii's motion controls, where would VR be right now? Because I mean, seriously, they, I mean, you have you had gyros forever, but it's like, who else was using those? And the IR stuff. Oh. Uh, people, people. I've seen a lot of uh comments on um, on forums and on, on web pages about how you know Nintendo just ha has all this old hardware that doesn't really have a lot of grunt to it and, and it's like it's not they everyone seems to forget in these comment sections and in these articles that's not the hardware it was how they used it it's like people forget that game boys and game boy so quickly like the one they should be forgetting is that virtual boy ha ha okay <laughs> oh man now i'm sitting here wondering how a virtual boy emulator would work oh man i'm sure there's one out there Okay, here we go. Doom Book Ammo Disc. <laughs> oh, man. Now there's an emulation question. Uh, how to put it? So, Virtual Boy, there is no way in hell that Nintendo is going to make those games... Oh, I thought I heard... Other footsteps, other game footsteps. There is no way in hell that Nintendo is going to put those games in any other format. The Virtual Boy is like the like one of the deadest consoles that I can think of. It's like oh, let's check this. Get the little medallion out of it. It's like what would they say to what would Nintendo say to the emulator there? It's like what are they going to do? Uh, not one to promote piracy, but that console is the deadest. That's a wolf hollow. Let's see, we got this one. Oh, that's not got anything in it, apparently. So I just gotta go back and get the other medallion and doom book. Oh, boy. So I guess this is not gonna open until I Welded and does not open. I gotta get my other Doom book, I suppose. Uh, Virtual Boy Emulator. Now there's a, there's a use for Google Cardboard. Lasering people's eyes out. With... I don't know... They have like a tennis game on there. <laughs> Let's do that. 
<coughs> okay, let's go. Snakes! So, while I'm thinking about horrible things in <laughs> Oh man, Ubisoft. Oh, oh. I, I wonder if you've seen that wonderful little tidbit from them. Here, I've got two ammo discs. Hooray! Ubisoft, it's like... Could they possibly burn Eagle Metal, right? Goodwill any faster if they tried. So apparently in an interview uh, on the nature of NFTs, I don't have the article pulled up, so I, or else I'd get better direct quotes on this one. But yeah, they, they had a couple of their NFT honchos over there. And in an interview, they straight up said, fans just don't get... They don't get it. Bands don't get what a secondary market can bring to them, was one of the uh, quotes in there. Um, hey, Ubisoft, yes, we do get what, uh, <laughs> we do get what a secondary market can bring. NFTs are not that secondary market. You want to talk about secondary market? Let us sell our used digital games. Uh, they're trying to conflate NFTs with the secondary market, for one. Uh, they said, we will keep integrating NFTs into our games. We will keep listening to what fans are telling us. It's like, no, you're not. Because if you were listening, you wouldn't still be doing it. Oh, here we go. Water! It's just... Oh, man, the quotes out of that interview are just... It's just awful how, how just gone these guys are what the just tell the gamers they don't get it. it's like you know it's like nfts they're so great when you, you don't get it just just shut up buy our nfts it's like you don't get it they're good for you just shut up buy, buy them anyway uh secondary market it's like never mind the fact that if they sell nfts they're gonna get a cut on whatever gets resold that's what they're they're in for. That's what they're looking for. It's like, come on, Ubi. Uh, it's like I want to call them Ruby Soft with emphasis on the Rube, but then that puts them too close to rubies, and those are valuable. I'm starting to think Ubisoft is not. And I've added that gamers really believe it's just destroying the planet and just a tool for speculation. I don't know about the speculation thing, but as for destroying the planet, they offered no rebuttal. He throws that out there with no rebuttal. Slow clap. Good job, guys. Oh, uh, man. You wouldn't get it, yeah. This is... <coughs> It's like, I love it when game companies tell you what you want. It's like the whole private server fiasco with World of Warcraft and playing the old versions of the games when the devs are like, you'd think you'd want it, but you don't. I'm like, there is demand. That is, that is the definition of want. Someone wants it. It's like, come on, guys. I don't know what the Ah, Ubisoft. Door is locked. There's a plate on right hand side. Not opening unless unless under a first class emergency. Oh man! See, the Joker gets it. He could be in sales. Let him start working at Ubisoft. Let him clean house. Scare everyone away. I'm not in endorsing a figure... I'm not endorsing a... Oh. I'm not endorsing a fictional character going over to Ubisoft and doing horrible, horrible things to him. But hey, if he were to run everyone off in a horrible jokery fashion, let's say 60s Joker. I'd take that. Uh... Ugh. <coughs> 
Uh. Let's see, Gary Old. Oh God, I have I've got to rewatch that movie. Oh, let's see, where was I on this? Sixties Joker with his painted over mustache. Oh man. Okay. Hello. How are we doing? I could actually use the Beretta for a moment if I wanted to. That's one. Two. Okay. <laughs> I think it is. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I didn't get him for a second. Okay. What's this? Oh, another MO disc. Yay! I think it's only three of them that I have to have. Uh. I think it was a panel from one of the old comics where the Nazis were trying to get him to turn on the United States, and he said, I mean, even I'm not that bad. Oh, Cesar Romero's Joker, he'd totally would. He'd, he'd totally be in for the boners, too. You know it. It's Caesar freaking Romero. He knows what's up. Let's see. MO discs. It's like, if that if that series taught me anything, he's he's just as much about the boners as, in, as, as the next Joker. Ah, oh, man. Let's see. Should I grab one of these? You know what? I'll grab one of these. Because why not? And combine. Okay, let's see. I'm not really ent entirely sure where to go here. Okay, electronically locked. Okay, that narrows that down. Sierra Romero, I'm pretty sure he's he's dead. I want to say he's been dead at least since the 90s. I'd have to look him back up again. Uh, it's unfortunate. Oh, hello! Um, that's a little unsettling. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, we got a little bit more farty music. Uh, no! Wasted shotgun shell. Uh... So many of those actors from that series are, are gone. Uh, Burgess Meredith, Cesar Romero, uh, Roddy McDowell. Hello. Hey, buddy. Adam West, as of, uh, I think, a year before last. Ah, it's rough. Okay. 94, okay. There's a few less naked zombies. What kind of science are these zombies involved in? I don't know if these are like lab techs or just umbrella victims or what. Okay. We have a hallway here. Oh, man. Well, there's a way to start a new year. Huh? I guess this is a light switch. Oh, that was unexpected. Reflections! Yeah! 90s reflections. Oh, boy. Researcher's letter. Dear Ada. Okay. Ada, by the time you read this, I'll be something different. Today's test turned out to be positive, just as I expected. I feel like going crazy when I think about becoming one of them. Ada, you're not infected, and I hope you never will be. In case you're the last one left, take the material in the visual data room and go to the power room to operate the triggering system before you escape and make all this public through the media. If everything is in order, all the locks can be opened by the security system. You can access the system if you log in with my name from the terminal in the small lab and enter the password. Log in with his name 
Password is her name. Okay. To unlock the door at B2 where the visual data room is located, you'll need to access it with our names first and then enter another password. Written the code down below in Viking runes. I'm sure you'll understand it easily. <laughs> okay. And this is my last hope. If you find me completely changed, please kill me yourself. Yours, John. Okay. David Bo Yeah, that was that was rough when I heard about that one too. I just mm. That sucks. I think that was like right after he'd like just a couple months after he'd released a new music video, that Halloween thing with, with his home and all those creepy wooden dolls. What we got here. Okay, John and Ada. Huh. Something's written on the picture. Okay, tree apple man woman. Gotcha. That that makes sense. Okay. I'm gonna use this only recently. Let's see anything else here. Let's see. Uh, turn this back off real quick. I didn't even look at this thing beforehand. Okay. <coughs> oh! Those symbols again. Apple woman and tree man. Somewhere, that's someone's superhero pairing. I mean, after all, if gentleman, ghost, matter, ear lad, and crazy quilt can exist as characters, you know, why not? Oh boy, I think this this whole oh, wrong way. I think. Yeah, I think this whole puzzle thing's kind of eaten enough of my brain where I think I'm gonna go on ahead and save and quit before I check out. But hey, I cleared out some of the zombies. It simplifies a few things. Uh. So while I'm working my way back to a save point, one last little bit of NFT tedium. I had to get this one out because, oh man, every time I see the NFT stories, I can't help but chuckle. So Atari, they're celebrating their 50th anniversary, if you can call it that, with NFT loot boxes that they're going to have 10 of them available. And when you have them then on a specific date, they'll unwrap with a surprise gift inside. I'm like, wow, common, rare, and epic. Uh, as far as um, different things. So, what I'm getting out of this is they are combining NFTs with loot boxes. Hooray! That's, that's the best. You're the best, Atari. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, because why not? Oh, boy. There's got to be a safe room somewhere. <coughs> I know, I, I know, I saw a typewriter not far back. Oh wait! Don't tell me I done goofed and I lost my opportunity to save coming down here. Oh, I should be able to just go back to the snake room. It's cool. You know, you say that nails getting pounded into your penis like Willem Dafoe. Well, I guess that answers the question of. Their, their CEO said, what better way to commemorate Atari's 50th anniversary than by ushering in a new era of technological innovation, yeah, let's call it that, while also honoring the brand that launched the modern video game industry. Yeah, there's one better way. It's getting nails pounded in your, into, your, into your penis like Willem Dafoe. Ugh, man, just... just no... They're the ones who launched the modern video gaming industry. Last I checked, they're nearly the ones who scuttled the modern video game industry. Stay golden, Atari. <laughs> Stay golden. 
Uh, to be fair, they did have a lot of hits in their day. They did get to the boom before that first bust. I will give them that. And then that first bust happened hard. It's like, hey, Atari, did you think we'd forget about E.T.? That was on your console. Never again. Oh, uh, boy. Let's see, did I get the ink ribbons? I'm about to feel like I got the ink ribbons. Cool, I got enough. <coughs> oh, man, 50th anniversary of Atari. I mean, how many times has the name Atari gone bankrupt? Because I'm pretty sure that the original company is the deadest. And that Atari has been in name only for like half my life. <laughs> okay, it's fine, Atari. When when Atari decides gaming is an actual priority for them, I will pay them a bit more attention. That that makes me sad for ever looking at the Atari box. That now they can the VCS. That now they can say, "Hey, NFTs, yo." Ugh. Oh, Matt McMuscles did a What Happened on the E.T. Okay, that might be something to watch after stream. So anyway, with this save handled, I think I might just get on to that in a minute. So thanks again, one and all, for stopping by. I will be back Saturday with Metal Gear Solid 3. And Sunday, hopefully, with the last stream of this. With a stream or two, I should basically be on my way out here. Um, and then I can get onto a Resident Evil game that I didn't flub. Woo! Resident Evil 2, ho! So, thanks again and all for stopping by Navigator EX here. And I will see you when I see you. Take it easy, party people! Oh, and I may be on starting Wednesday streams back. I don't know about this week, but we'll see. I mean, as long as I'm not holding down a job right now, I can take that one day to put a little more time in. We shall see! I'm not committing anything this week, but food for thought. Uh, getting your Wii back tomorrow. Nice. Enjoy the wonders of Waggle technology. <laughs> oh, man. Anywho, see you around. Take it easy, party people. And I'm out. Hmm? Oh, one more thing. I caught that. One more thing! Oh boy. Let's see. I'm clearing this last note off. Eh? Not gonna make it. Oh, sweet! 65. Alrighty, well, happy birthday to her. And if you don't show up, that is that is a very good reason for it. So indeed, take it easy. I will be. Wait, what am I doing? Right, I was signing off. I am I am distracted. I have like a Nat's attention span. I guess that means the coffee's kicked in. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm out. See you around. Mm.